Hello again. Um, what I'd like to show you now is a reverb pedal, and um, this one is from the uh, the innovative Strymon company of uh, the USA, and it's called the Blue Sky Reverberator. And like all the Strymon effects, it uses extremely powerful digital processing um, to emulate some traditional old sounds of the past, and also to create some very exciting modern effects, all in one tiny powerful box. And um, this one's no exception. It, uh, rather than being just a straight reverb effect, it does uh, include a lot of um, really nice features that enable you to attain like, just precisely what you want from a reverb pedal. And uh, as I said, also adds a few new um, innovative things into the mix as well. So um, I'd like to show you it up close and then let you hear what it sounds like. So this is what the uh, Blue Sky Reverberator looks like then. It's in the usual um, Strymon type enclosure. And the uh, first thing I want you to do is to ignore these little metal pieces which uh, I just attached there myself so um, I can attach the pedal to my pedal board so just forget about them. Um, we'll take a look at, across the front first. You've got the um, Inputs left and right and output left and right. Obviously, if you have a ster that's if you, if you have a stereo signal chain and a standard nine volt barrel DC socket. Um, the controls we have um, we have a mix control here, which obviously mixes between mixes between wet and dry. Uh, a decay control for the um, to contr control the uh, the decay length of the reverb effect. Uh, then we have high damp and low damp which are uh, just the high or low frequencies of the uh, of the reverb itself not the dry signal and finally the pre-delay which determines the amount of delay before the effect is heard um, and that's worth doing a little bit of work with to, um, to find your ideal reverb setting um, we've got a bypass switch here with an LED which lets you know when the effect is engaged and over here is a favourite foot switch which enables you to store a favourite setting so you can recall that at any time so you can either switch between whatever setting you have on the controls or the stored sound in here. Um, the important part here is these two three position switches. First is a mode switch, second is the type of reverb and you can choose um, either plate reverb, room or a simulation of spring reverb. Over here in the mo on the mode side there's a normal reverb, modulated reverb which gives some nice um, modulated, spacey, chorusy type of effects, and finally shimmer, which gives a, um, a kind of synth-like um, octave harmony type of thing, which is difficult to put into words, but you'll you'll certainly you'll recognise it when you hear it. It's a really nice um, atmospheric thing, and um, we're going to hear it now. I just I'd like to say that I'm never I've never really been a big user of reverb. But this particular pedal, I like it a lot because not only can you get some natural reverb effects and some amplifier style uh, spring tank reverb sounds, which we're all familiar with, you can also use reverb as as an effect or as a special effect, if you like. Um, and I find it very versatile and I like it a lot. It's the Strymon Blue Sky Reverberator. <laughs>
Thank you.